suicide watch. Tonight, the former cop accused of mowing down a group of children is now facing more serious charges after one of the young victims died. Chip Osowski joins us now from Point Siena with reaction from friends and classmates. All day long, there has been a steady stream of people coming by this makeshift memorial near where the accident happened. Friends, classmates stopping by to drop off flowers, balloons, and say prayers. Friends like Hassam Valsi trying to make sense out of the senseless. It shouldn't have happened like this. The driver, I don't, this was just a very bad situation. I don't think Jaheem should have passed away like this so early. Jaheem Robertson, one of the five children hit at the bus stop, died from his injuries on Friday. 13-year-old Juan Mena still recovering from his injuries. Three other children were treated at the scene. Jonathan Quintana, an off-duty deputy, was on the phone with his daughter when she saw a black car hit her friends. She started screaming frankly, Dad, Dad, help me, help me. Dad, I need your help. And I assumed the worst. Um, I uh, got out of my bed and I, I ran towards my daughter, not knowing what was going on. She, as um, soon as I get closer to it, to her, I notice that she's, she's up and she's okay. Deputies tell us that driver is 48-year-old John Camfield, a former law enforcement officer. He made his first appearance before a judge on Friday afternoon, now facing a slew of charges. As far as the suspect in this case, the Polk County Sheriff's Office tells me Camfield is currently in isolation and under a suicide watch. In Point Siena, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8.